Should you pause at the top of the back swing? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Coach Mike here. I'm with uh, Miss Universe, Catriona Gray. Oh, no, get on. <laughs> this is Alex Ether. She's a professional playing on the Ladies Philippine Golf Tour. And she's here to help me explain why I think you shouldn't stop at the top of the back swing. So go ahead and set up to the ball. Um, so at setup, it might look like she's balanced, but she actually has more pressure on the left side. And that's uh, important because that's how you start the back swing. You put pressure on the left and that gets everything going. So by the time she gets the left arm parallel, she has maximum pressure on the right side already. And as she, as she completes the boxing, watch where her, her pressure goes. Right? So before, before she even gets to the top of the boxing, pressure is already shifting to the left. So by the time left arm is parallel to the ground, she already has maximum pressure on the left side. When you see that, I mean, it's pretty obvious. There's no pausing at the top, right? There's no pausing at the top. There's, a, there's an obvious flow of energy from left to right to left. For those of you who pause at the top of the boxing, I'm willing to bet you're probably swinging left and maybe slicing because your weight is still on the right at the top of the swing because you're trying to stop. And then guess what? your arms out raise everything and you swing to the left. So my advice is stop trying to pause at the top of the boxing. I hope that helps. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. And uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and see you next time.